Well, hey, welcome back to Shanna's Wire Wrap Jewelry Tutorials. I'm going to show you how to make an awesome clasp. If you're making wire jewelry now, you probably have a pile of all kinds of little things. I end up with lots of different little ideas and samples, and I hate to throw them away because sometimes it inspires me to make something else with it. But uh, we're going to focus on this clasp today. Look how cute. Instead of just your standard hook and eye clasp, you can have something a little bit more interesting. And these two pieces are nearly identical, but we have an opening on one side that clasps into the other side. And I don't know what to call this clasp. Comment below and let me know what your eyes ideas are. And I may just post it on the website well, let's go ahead and get started. Well, you don't need a lot of tools. You just need your standard jewelry making tools. We're going to use 18 gauge wire. And of course you can use any color, but I love the copper. You need a hammer and a steel block. So let's go ahead and get started. Move everything out of the way. So to start, we want to get the end of our wire and always flush cut it because if you can see the tip of that wire, it's kind of sharp. So we're gonna keep these here for reference. We're gonna start with the loop on this left-hand side. So at the very small end of your needle nose pliers, you're going to make a loop. And bring that wire up. And then you're going to hold the tool up from the loop just a little bit and turn the wire underneath. And then hold the tool up from the loop just a little bit and then you're gonna turn it and put it on top this time. Trying to get those loops the same size on either side. And then this one we're going to take down and so we want to make that sort of leaf shape on the bottom. So hold your chain nose pliers where you want the bottom of that to be and we want to bend that so we have a nice little kink in it. And bend this around. Just kind of work your shape a little bit so you have it exactly the way you want it. That looks pretty good. We're going to flip that over and lift it just a tad. I want to flush cut it just over this wire. Because that's going to be in the back of that little piece. This one looks pretty good. And the other one is basically identical, but we have one little change at the end. So we'll just walk through this one more time. I'm gonna make that first loop come up just a bit, make the next loop and go under. And then hold up from that loop just a little bit and turn it and turn it on top. And we kind of want this bottom part to be curved and down because we want to make it about the same size as the other piece. So I'm going to hold it where I want it to be on the bottom and bend it up. Sometimes you can even kind of bend it together a bit and then bend it back out. That'll give you a nice tip. Hold that. And then we want this to come behind. Honestly, this one doesn't matter as much because we're going to make that circle. But we'll go ahead and bring that in the back. Use your tool to gently shape. And then when we are done, with the shape and we like it, turn it over and lift it a bit 
and then we're going to trim it from this wire here. We're going to trim it about maybe a quarter of an inch, not quite of a quarter of an inch past. I'll give you a little close up there. It's a little bit longer. I'm going to keep it pulled up just so I can work. This is where we're going to be making this, this little loop here. That's going to end up being our clasp. Okay, can you see that? Look how cute that is. So you can just clasp it in by locking it in like that. To finish these, we want to hammer them just a bit. So if this is our front, we want to place this face down on our steel block and just lightly hammer. This will add strength to the curves so it won't easily bend and it also gives it a nice little reflective shine. This is my front. I'm going to put that face down. Oh, there's my face. Front, okay. Just put the face of it, the, the one you, you want on top, to go face down and hammer. It doesn't require too much hammering with this gauge of wire. And now you have a um, really cute little clasp. Maybe you might need to use your tools just a little bit to flatten everything out. So that's it. And now you can have a clasp that's a little bit more interesting than just your standard hook and eye clasp. Short and sweet. Thanks for watching and um, keep watching and I'll make some other clasp videos as well. See ya!